Welcome back. Today I thought I'd take you through Robin's version of Cold Days of February that he plays on Songs for the Caladerium, which was a limited edition CD put out in 1996 from memory, um, where for each of the months of the year he was playing a related song, so obviously February was Cold Days of February. Um, playing it in C, G, C, G, C, D. To play along with the recording, you'd have to put capo on one, but I won't do that for this lesson. So I'll just take you through the first verse. You've got three verses, but the chord formation is the same for all of them. So go start off in C. As I was sitting by a winter's fire, so winters, f winters is f an F chord, which is by the fifth fret. Fire, which is G chord, O2, O2. These same chords will work out in standard tuning. It's just that um, this is the way it's played actually at the concert. And then it goes to a D minor, which is by the two. Right in words, A minor. Which is two, four, five on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Strange and steady. F chord. Amongst my own C chord. Internal F choir. Came voice. That's a G chord. Choir. Came voices. Two voices is D. To A minor, my, you can put a G chord in there, mind, F, unready, C, to E minor, which is by and up for, for those who died, is it F chord, on either G chord, side, is A minor, in Belfast, E minor, oh, the streets, the streets is F of Derry, D minor, go sighing through C chord, the northeast, this is F chord, wind, G chord, these cold D minor days, A minor of G Feb, F chord, Uary, C chord. Um, absolutely breathtaking song, breathtaking, beautiful. Um, it was great in the string band and it's great that Robin plays it in his solo career. So um, I hope you have enjoyed that lesson. If you have, then please do hit the thumbs up sign. If you'd like to be notified about further lessons, then please hit the subscribe button. But for now, we'll say goodbye.